here we are for another Big Ten uh, tournament game here, the 80s Big Ten tournament. Today's teams are going to be the couple Indiana teams here, the 1988 uh, Indiana Hoosiers. The Hoosiers went 8-3-1. Uh, 396 points scored to, with 235 scored against. Uh, they were led by their quarterback, Dave Schnell, who threw for 1,877 yards, nine touchdowns. He did throw 13 interceptions. Uh, but their main star was the running back, Anthony Thompson, who rushed for 1,686 yards at a 4.7 yards per carry clip. He scored 26 touchdowns. So for Purdue, that's going to be their main focus is stopping uh, Anthony Thompson. Uh, receivers, they have a couple big play guys. Uh, Rob Turner caught 36 balls for 814 yards and 8 touchdowns. So he caught 8 of Schnell's 9 touchdown uh, passes in the season. Tony Buford also had 30 catches. Uh... Had 30 catches for 564 yards for 18.8 yard clip. Uh, kick. Special teams, uh, nothing too extraordinary. Um, Pete Stojanovic was a solid kicker and a pretty solid punter in Tom Bulliard. And their opponents today are going to be the 1980. Purdue Boilermakers. Uh, Purdue went nine and three, 328 yards, uh, or 328 points scored, with 233 points scored against. And they were led by their quarterback, Mike, Mark Herman, who threw for 3,212 yards, 65.8 percent percentage uh, completion percentage, which was darn good for that era. 23 touchdowns and 17 interceptions. He has a solid uh, running game behind him. Jimmy Smith rushed for 657 yards, 4.7 yards a clip, 7 touchdowns. Uh, John Macon, 450. Ben McCall had a 507 yards rushing, scored 4 times. And receivers... They have Bart Burrell was their 1,000 yard receiver. He caught uh, uh, 66 balls for 1,001 yards, 8 touchdowns. Dave Young had 70 catches for 959 yards, 9 touchdowns. And Stephen Brandt had 892 yards receiving and 4 touchdowns. So a great receiving core. Uh, special teams, nothing, again, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, kickers, though, they had, did have Rick Anderson. He was uh, solid, but not great. 69% uh, field goals and 97% uh, extra points. And punting, pretty weak there. Jim Bosch uh, averaged 35.4 yards a kick. Uh, I didn't really go over the defense too well. They had James Looney had four picks. Uh, biggest sack guy was Paul Hanna with five. Let's look real quick back at Indiana. Uh, Willie Bates had four sacks and two picks. So defensively, neither of these teams are outstanding defensively. Uh, solid, but not there. So let's head to the field and get this one uh, started. Playing at uh, in Purdue here, well, uh, Indiana's going to. Uh -oh, I got to plug my battery in. They're going to defer, and Purdue will receive it here to start the first half at Ross Aid Stadium. Stojanovic back to kick off. He lets it go. This is going to go out of... 
Uh, but Jimmy Smith took it at the two and picked up 18 yards out to the 20. So here we go. Jimmy Smith and John Macon are in the backfield. Bart Burrell and Stephen Bryant, the receivers. Dave Young, the tight end. We're going to give it to Jimmy Young. Oops, I forgot to do this. Going to give it to Jimmy Young. Or Jimmy Smith, I'm sorry. He's going to be tripped up for a loss of a yard. I saw the coach's name, and I mistook it for the running back. So second and 11 for Purdue. Back to throw. Look at these numbers. He's going to look for Stephen Bryant. Caught. Oh, he dropped it. Third and 11. Almost picked off. So third and 11. And back to pass goes Hermes. He's looking for his tight end. To Dave Young. Catches it at the 30. He's going to pick up nine. He's going to be short of the first down. They're going to have to punt on their opening drive. Bosch into booted away. He's got it caught by Buford, and he's pulled down at the 44-yard line. Six-yard return, and Indiana has a first and 10 at their own 44. Anthony Thompson is the running back with Carl Miller. Receivers are Rob Turner and Tony Buford, and the tight end is Tim Jordan. They're going to give it to... Carl Miller on the inside handoff to start things off. He'll pick up a couple. Bring up a second and eight. Anthony Miller is going to get the handoff on the sweep. And he's going to be drilled. Met immediately in the backfield. It looks like we got some uh, steady rain as the turf is starting to get beat up a little bit. That's going to probably aid... Uh, per, or uh, Indiana more than it will Purdue. Third and 15. Back to pass. He's going to look for Rob Turner. Flag on the play. There's a flag. False start. Offense. False start. And that's going to make it third and 20. Third and 20. And they're just going to throw it short here, I think, to their tight end. Schnell back to pass. Looking for Jordan. Jordan's got it. He's got a little running room. He's going to pick up 14, but he's going to be short. It's going to bring up a fourth and sixth. And here comes Tony Boyard, Boyard into punt. Tom Boyard. I knocked him. Boyard. He punts it away. We're going to let it roll. It's going to... Oh, it's going to die at the one. What a punt by a ball yard. And Purdue's going to start at their one-yard line. They're going to give it to Jimmy Smith on the run. Oh, he picks up 10. He's over the 10. Over the 20. 30. Oh, he's over midfield. 40. What a run by Jimmy Smith. Seven-yard run. Deep into Indiana territory. He's coming out. In comes Ben McCall to spell him. What a run by Jimmy Smith. And now Purdue is in a good situation here. Back to pass goes Herman. He's looking for his big play guy, Bart Burrell. And oh, it's picked off. It's picked off by Brian DeWitts. Not a good throw in the rain here. The steady rain is really making it hard for the quarterbacks. So the Hoosiers take over at their. Own 29. I'm going to give it to 
Anthony Thompson on the handoff. He'll pick up three, bring up second and seven. Second and seven. He's looking for his Tony Buford. Here comes James Looney on the blitz. And nice play. Gets to, to Rob Turner. And Turner's going to get out to midfield. An 18-yard gain. Nice play from Schnell and Rob Turner. They're going to give it to Anthony Thompson again. And he is stuffed. Loss of the yard on the play. Purdue all over Anthony Thompson so far. Second and 11. Carl Miller checks out. Then comes Gene Boyd. Buford comes out. In comes Gary Gooden. And they're going to give it to... Thompson again. Around the right side. He'll pick up four and bring up third and seven. Third and seven. It's going to go over the screen pass. Flag on the play. There's a flag down though. False start. Offense. Another false start call. And that's going to bring it third and 12. They're going to go with three wide outs. He's looking for Gooden. Back to pass. Gooden. But Andy Gladstone breaks it up. And it's going to bring a fourth and 12. In the punt comes Bolliard. Can he pin him deep again? This is a good one. Gonna haul it in at the eight. It's gonna pick up six yards on the return, but there's a flag down. Oh, an illegal block. That's gonna back them up even more as they start again from deep in their own territory from the four. Gonna give it to Ben McCall. He's gonna pick up five out to the nine. Second and five. Gonna go play action. He's looking for Stephen Bryant. Bryant makes the catch at the 16. He's gonna pick up seven. It's a first down and ten for the Boilermakers. Wally Jones checks in. Wally Jones checks in. He'll get the call here. Inside run. He's going to bowl ahead for six yards. Brings up second and four. He's looking for his tight end here. Burrell back and throws it. Nice pass to Dave Young. Catches it out, the 20, out to the 29. He'll pick up seven yards. And another first down for the Boilermakers. Going to give it to Ben McCall. He gets around the end. And pushes ahead for four. Brings up second and six. Second and six. Ben McCall checks out. Jimmy Smith comes back in. And they're going to give it to him. He's going to pick up a couple. Gets out of bounds. Third and four. Third and four. Emma Lovely comes in at tight end. He's going to look for his running back out of the backfield. He's going to get pressure. He's going to run with it. First Cuts up field, picks up four in the first down. Nice play by Mike Her Mark Herman. And it's first and ten for the Boilermakers at the 39. They're going to get some play action. 
He's going to go medium long to Bart Burrell. They got double coverage on him. He's going to say go to Lovely, but it's incomplete, just out of his reach. Second down and 10. He's looking for his receiver, Scott Craig. Oh, he can't. Can't get it into him. I'm trying to see what the weather is doing to this. Yeah. So, third and ten. Jones checks out. Stephen Brandt back in. Three wide outs. And they're looking for Bart Burrell. Burrell's got it at the 46. And he's dropped there. Seven yard pickup. It's going to be short of the first down. And if, here comes Jim Bosch. He'll punt it away. All right. Gets a kickoff caught by Buford and returns six yards out to the 28. That's where the Indiana Hoosiers will start, first and 10. We're going to give it to Anthony Thompson. Thompson. Mag turns the corner. He loses the football. It's fumbled. What do we got? It's going to be recovered for by Purdue. But they're going to look at it. Referees are talking over. Oh, they're saying it wasn't a fumble. So Thompson must have had a knee down there. And he'll get three yards. Makes it second and seven. Sports time machine. It's the... Uh, 88 Indiana Hoosiers and the 1980 Purdue Boilermakers. Second and seven. Carl Miller comes in. They're going to check. Barry Way is going to come in. They'll get the handoff here. going to pick up four. Brings up a third and three. Third and three. Give it to Barry Way. But there's a flag down. Oh, and they stuff him right there at the line. But they're going to call offsides. On Purdue, that's going to give uh, Indiana the first down. First and ten First for the Hoosiers. Rob Turner checks back in. And he's going to drop back to pass. Schnell looking. Nice catch by Turner. He breaks free and he'll pick up 22 yards. Down to produce 34. First and ten for the Hoosiers. Yeah, I agree. I'm a Michigan guy, so being a Michigan fan right now uh, is not uh, the funnest thing to deal with Buckeye fans, I believe me. My brother and his whole, uh, family, his wife's uh, family are all Buckeye fans. And uh, it's painful. It is painful. All right, it's first and ten. Anthony Thompson is checking back in, and he's going to get the handoff. Thompson gets to the outside. He's going to pick up four. It's going to bring up second and six. They're going to give it to him again on a trap play. Thompson. Bust ahead. He'll pick up five. It'll be third and one. Carlos Marte will check in.
Carl Miller will check back in and he's going to get the handoff. On third and one. Handoff to Miller. Cuts to his right. He's going to bust ahead for 12 yards and a first down. Down to the Purdue 13 yard line. First and 10. Here's Anthony Thompson with the handoff. Thompson is going to hold Thompson to two yards as James Looney comes in and makes a nice play. Second down and eight. Play action. Did they go for the end zone here? No. We're going to run it again. Thompson on the ball. Here he, oh, he's going to slip and take a loss of a yard. And that's the end of the first quarter. And we head to the second quarter. 0-0 zero, zero our score. So it's third and nine from the Purdue 12 yard line. Back to pass goes Schnell. He is going to look for Rob Turner, I believe. Now we're going to go for the tight end, Carlos Marte. Back to pass. He's going to get. Oh, he's hit. He doesn't go down, though. He takes off running. He's going to pick up a couple yards before he's dropped. And it's fourth and seven. So Schnell got some pressure. Had to run with it. And here comes Stojanovic. He's going to try the field goal. 82% chance. Kick is up. And it is good. Stojanovic gives the Hoosiers the early lead. 3-0 here in the second quarter. Kick off. Stojanovic boots it away. Jimmy Smith takes it at the three. Outside. He's in the clear. He hits. He laterals. Uh-oh. It's on the ground. What do we got? Indiana has recovered. Why you would try to lateral a football in this rainy weather, I have no idea. But Jimmy Smith had a nice 39-yard return. They were not happy with that and tried to get more. But instead, they fumbled the football away, and now the Hoosiers are in Purdue territory looking for more. How you doing, Dave? Yeah, I love that era of uh, Hoosier basketball, too. Uh, even though Bobby Knight was comes out, he was kind of a, a jerk. I mean, that those teams were fun to watch. They were so disciplined. Um, and Isaiah, Isaiah was one of the greats. All right, first and ten for the Buckeyes. Or, Buckeyes. I got Buckeyes on the mind now. Hoosiers, first and ten. At the Purdue 42. They're going to give it to Anthony Thompson. Thompson. Knocked out of bounds. McKinney makes the tackle. He'll pick up a yard. It's second and nine. Gary Gooden's checking in. Gooden and Eddings, the receivers. Back to pass. Play action. Looking for Gary Gooden. Gooden pass. Caught by Gooden. First Limits him to 14 yards. And a first down for the Hoosiers. Down to the Purdue 27. Tony Buford checks back in. Screen pass. To Anthony Thompson. Caught. He'll pick up four before he's dropped there. Second and six at the Purdue 23 yard line.
You're going to give it to him. Anthony Thompson, handoff. Going wide. He'll pick up two. Brings up a third and four. Third and four. No, we don't want to. They're going to keep feeding Anthony Thompson. But a timeout by Indiana there. Dave Schnell had to call timeout. Signs were crossed there. Second, or third and four. Here's the handoff to Anthony Thompson. He's going to pick up a couple. That's it. Fourth and two now. What do you do here? Fourth and two from the 19. Stojanovic is 64% from here. Hmm. The Hoosiers are going to try to go for it, I think. Fourth and two. They're going to go to two tight ends. And they're going to give it to Carl Miller on the inside handoff. Oh, there's a flag. A false start. The Hoosiers. Keep uh, just putting their foots in their mouths. They're going to have to send Stojanovic out now to try to kick the field goal. 52% chance, 41 yarder. Kick is up, and it is good. He got it. He snuck it through from 41 yards out, and it's six to nothing. Indiana. Stoyanovich to kick it off. Smith heads towards the sideline. He's driven out bounds at the 22. So a 21-yard pickup, and Purdue will start there. The field start to look really choppy now as the rain is taking its toll. Ben McCall and John Macon will be the running backs. Bart Burrell has to come out. Herman is going to pass. He's dropping back, looking for Lovely. But he's brought to the ground by Doug Schler at the sack for the Hoosiers. And that makes it second and 15. This Hoosier defense playing well. Second and 15. They're going to look to Stephen Bryant on a quick pass. They're playing off the receivers. That's good. Oh, it's picked off! Picked off by Andre Hall! And returned eight yards down to the Purdue seven-yard line. Indiana has the football. First and goal from the seven. They're going to give it to Anthony Thompson. Here's a run. Picks up three. Thompson's getting up a little slow. They're going to have to take him out. It will come Barry Way to take his place. Second and goal from the four. They're going to give it to Carl Miller on the inside run. Miller in the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana. The Hoosiers take advantage of the interception and score it on the Carl Miller four-yard run to take the lead. They are going to try a, to go for two here, I think. Up 12-0. From the three. Here they go. Trying for two. 
and off the very way. Cuts outside, walks it in. Touch, uh, two point conversion's good. And it's 14 to nothing in favor of the Hoosiers. Nice play by Barry Way to get in there. And Stojanovic to kick it off. Purdue's got some work to do here. 10.38 left in the first half. They're going to give it to Ben McCall. Hang up McCall. Picks up eight. Nice run by Ben McCall. Brings up a second and two. They're going to give it to their fullback. Hand off to John Macon. He bowls ahead for the first down. Three yard pickup. First and ten. Looking for his tight end here. Dropped by Lovely. That rain is wreaking havoc on these receivers and the quarterback. This brings up second and ten. Second and ten. They're going to do a screen to John Macon. Herman drops back. Little floats one out there. Macon has it at 39. They drop him right there. Picks up nothing. It's going to be third and ten. Jimmy Smith checks back in. As does Dave Young. Back to pass. He's looking for Scott Craig. Schnell. Or uh, Herman. Broken up by Mark Ferry. This Indiana defense has been playing pretty well here today. Fourth down and ten. And in the punt will be Jim Bosch. Bosch boots it away. Not a good punt. It's going to go out of bounds at the Indiana 29. So Indiana will start first and 10 from the 29. Rob Turner checks in. They're going to give it to Barry Way. Here comes Purdue on the blitz. He's going to break through and pick up nine yards on the run. Second and one now. They caught uh, Purdue coming, and Way got through that initial rush and broke into the secretary, secondary for the nine-yard pickup. Second and one. They're going to do an end around here. Hands, gives it to Tony Buford. He's around the outside. He's in the clear. 19 yards before he's caught at the Purdue 43. First and 10. Nice call there. Buford picks up 19 yards. Gonna give it to Barry Way. Barry Way is hit hard. Breaks another tackle. And the ball's free. Out of bounds, though. Luckily for Barry Way and the Hoosiers, he'll pick up four yards. Second and six. Carl Miller checks out. In comes Gene Boyd. We're going to give it to Barry Way again. Picks up six. They got the measure. Just short. Third and inches for the Hoosiers here. Third and uh, tight end. Carlos Marti checks back in. Third and inches. They're going to give it to Way again. Eight men in the box. He gives it to Barry Way. Picks up four yards. Four yards and a first down. Nice play by Barry Way. I do a little option here. Expecting the run. They're looking for Way, but Schnell's going to keep it on the end. 
Gonna pick up four. Springer's up second and six. He's gonna be a do a play action, and he's looking for Tony Buford. Schnell back, looking deep. He's looking for Buford makes the catch. He's gonna go in for the score. Tony Buford with a touchdown, and the Indiana Hoosiers build up their lead to twenty to nothing. What a shocker this has been. Stojanovic for the extra point. It's up and good. And with 5.05 left in the first half, it's 21 to nothing, the Hoosiers. Here's the kickoff. Craig takes it at the one. And he's going to go out of bounds at the 8. Not a good return. So Purdue starts at their 8-yard line. First and 10. This Purdue crowd is quiet. As Purdue, on this rain-soaked field, has been getting uh, beaten up pretty good by this Indiana ball club. Jimmy Smith's going to get the handoff here. Stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of two. That Indiana defense is fired up. He's going to drop back and look for Dave, uh, Scott Young. Dave Young, I'm sorry. And defected away by Willie ba Bates. Another great defensive play. It's third and 12. Mark Herman is struggling here. Trying to... The ball's just fluttering out of his hand. He can't seem to get a good grip on it, I guess. Third down. They're going to go to a screen pass to Macon. Under pressure, but he gets it off. Mackin grabs up the four. He breaks loose. And he's going to pick up 13 yards and a first down. Nice play by the Boilermakers. Herman was a little shook up on that play, but he's staying in. We're going to not call timeout just yet. See if we can get out to... Uh, He's back to pass. He's looking for Burrell. Bart Burrell. Burrell's got it at the 33. Drop down quickly. Pick up of 18. And they're out to the... Purdue is out to their 37-yard line. First and 10. Jones checks in. He's looking for his tight end, Dave Young, again. Drops back. He's going to throw, picks, throws, into double coverage. Caught by Young at the 45. Second and two now. Got 234 left. He's going to look to Bart Perel here. He's double covered again. Instead he goes to Young. And deflected away by Eric Coleman. It's going to bring up a third and two. Back to throw. He's looking for Scott Young. Or Scott uh, Craig. Throws. Pulled down by Craig at the 41. He'll be dropped at the 37, 18-yard pickup. First down. And Purdue is going to call her first time out. Timeout offense. Leaves him with 2 minutes, 15 seconds left. They're at the Indiana 37. 
back to pass. He's looking. They're going to be doubling Burrell. Bryant checks back in. Oop. They're going to go Jimmy Smith. Back to pass. Herman looking. Fires to Jimmy Smith. Caught. At the 29. Pushed out of bounds. He'll pick up eight. And it's going to bring up second and two. Second and two at the Indiana 29. Two minutes, eight seconds left. He's looking for Stephen Bryant here. Back to pass. Herman. Flush from the pocket. Throws a medium pass to her. Oh, it's going to be incomplete. Look for Jimmy Smith there. It's going to bring up a third and two. Back to throw again. Again, he's looking for Bryant. Bryant's got it at the 13. 14 yard pickup. First down at the Indiana. We're going to let that time go down. 15 yard line. A minute 35 left. He's back to throw. He's in the red zone. This is where Bart Burrell shines. He's looking for him here. Back to pass. Oh, knocked away by Danny Bauer. Brings up a second and ten. Looking for his tight end here. And he's being double covered. Throws it anyways. Caught by Young at the eight. A gain of seven. Tough catch from Dave Young there. Third and three. Timeout Purdue. Offense. Twenty-one nothing. Indiana has led it. Purdue's best drive of the day here in the rain. As Herman has started to come alive a little bit. He's looking for Burrell. Flag on the play. Oh, there's a flag. Encroachment. But it's gonna be defense. Against the defense. That'll give him a first down. First and goal from the four. Back to pass. He's looking for Young. Herman throws. Caught at the one. They stop him just short of the end zone. They're going to let the time roll. 36 seconds left. Here in the half. They need this score badly. They're going to give it to Jimmy Smith. They got a timeout left. See if Jimmy Smith can get it in. Hand off. Smith. In for the score. So Purdue is on the board. A 13-play drive that goes 91 yards. Or 14-play drive goes 92 yards. And they get a touchdown. So right before the half. Kick is up, and it is good. So 21-7, to the Hoosiers are on top, but Purdue starting to show a little uh, what their passing game can do if it comes alive. Here's the kickoff. Eddings takes it at the 2. He'll return it all the way out to the 28, or tw uh, out to the 30, I should say. But I doubt they're really... Gonna try anything here. Do a slow down. I think we'll take the knee and go to the half with a 21-7 lead. Indiana leads them by two touchdowns, and they'll get the ball first here in the second half. Kickoff. I think this is going to be brought it out to the 25 where it'll be first and 10 for the Hoosiers. Thompson back in the game.
they're gonna what do we got here we got two all right here we go and off to Thompson Thompson breaks through the line give him a couple yards down at the 27 brings up a second and eight second and eight Gonna give it to him again. Thompson. Boy, it's a big loss. He'll pick up another two. Brings up a third and six. Third and six. Back to pass goes Schnell. He's looking for Thompson. Thompson on the short pass. Caught. No, it's broken up by Tom Kingsbury. As he drills Anthony Thompson just as the ball got there. Fourth and six. And they're going to have to punt the football away. Here's Bullyard. Poor punt. Craig's going to field it at 37. And he'll pick up a yard. But they start with good field position out at the per their own 38 yard line. Here's Jimmy Smith. Breaks through for a gain of three. Got drilled in the backfield, but pulled it head for three. Makes it second and seven. They give it to John Macon on the handoff. John Macon picks up four. Brings up third and three. This is the time. Fourth and three. Do they go for it here? They're going to try a play action. They're going to go up top to Stephen Bryant. Beat to Bryant. He's there. Oh, just overthrew him. Incomplete. Fourth down and three. That was worth a try, and Bosch comes on to punt. It's going to be a short punt. Calls for a fair catch. Dumas makes the play at the 26. Just a 29-yard punt. So first and 10 for Indiana at the 26-yard line. They're going to give it to Anthony Thompson on the handoff. Coach Little well, picks up 7 yards. Nice run there. Second and 3. They're going to keep on feeding them. Thompson drilled in the backfield by Marks. Drops him for a yard loss. It's going to bring up a third and four. Third and four. He's looking for his tight end. Schnell back to throw. Looking for Marte. Incomplete. Fourth down and four. And into punt comes Bullyard. Nice return by Scott Craig, but there's a flag down. Kicking team. Oh, they get the penalty, a personal foul call on the Hoosiers. And that's going to be a huge play there as it gives. Purdue the ball at midfield. Indiana's 49 to be exact. First and 10. Back to throw. Herman looking. He's being pressured. Has to take off running. Boyd Stagui. Find some daylight. Andre Hill tackles him at the 38. He picks up 11 yards. Nice play by Mark Herman to scramble out of trouble there. Picks up 11. It's first and 10 from the 38 yard line. Back to throw. He's looking for Burrell again. Back to pass. Burrell broken up by Coleman. Second and 10. You give it to John Macon. 
Trap play. Straight up the middle. Bingo! He's in the backfield. They can't get him before he gets 12 yards and another first down for the Hoosier or for the Boilermakers. First and ten from Indiana's 26. Here's Jimmy Smith. He's going to pick up seven. So he spun out of bounds right there at the Indiana 19 yard line. Second and three. Give it to Macon again. Flag on the play. Flag down. False start. Offense. False start called on Purdue. Now it's second and eight. Backs him up five. Play action. He's looking for Burrell again. Burrell makes the catch. Picks up 10 and a first down. He gets out of bounds at the 14 yard line. Hand off to Macon. Macon picks up four to bring it second and six. Second and six. Hand off to Smith. Smith, not much there. He'll get two. Bring up second and four from the Indiana eight yard line. Drop back to pass. Burrell caught. Touchdown. Herman to Bart Burrell for the score. And it is now a 21-13 game. Extra point is on its way and good. 21-14, the Purdue Boilermakers are back in this game, down just by a score now. Kickoff through the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Indiana Hoosiers. They're going to give it to Anthony Thompson. He's getting around left side. Picks up six. Brings up a second and four. Going to give it on the inside. Handoff to Carl Miller. Into the secondary. He's going to pick up 12. Before he's dropped at the Indiana 38. First and 10 for the Indiana Hoosiers. Play action. He's looking for Rob Turner deep. But here comes the blitz. No, Turner can't make it. It's picked off. Bill Kay picked it off and returns at 13 yards. On the return, out to the Purdue 46. An ill-advised throw from Dave Schnell. And Purdue's back in business here. First and 10. They're going to give it to Jimmy Smith. Going to pick up four. Brings up second and six. Hand off to John Macon. Macon cut down by Terry Saunders after a gain of three. Brings up third and three. Play action. Looking for his tight end. Dave Young. Caught by Young at the 38. Tackled at the 31, a 16-yard gain down to the Indiana 31. Herman wants to go for the home run ball here. He's going to go play action, and he's going to look for Stephen Bryant. They're on the run blitz. Play action. Deep. Caught by Bryant to 17. 
21 yard gain down to the Indiana 10 yard line. Purdue has got this offense chugging along right now. They're going to give it to Macon on the inside run. Picks up a yard. Now they're going to give it to Jimmy Smith. Handoff around the left side. He's got room. He's going to score. Jimmy Smith walks it in for the touchdown. Nine yards out. And the Boilermakers are one extra point away from a tie game. What a comeback by these Boilermakers. Here's the extra point. And it is good. We're tied at 21. 3.40 left in the third quarter. And we've got ourselves a, a game now, folks. Kickoff taken by Rob Turner at the four. Oh, nice return. He's going to return 37 yards out to the 41. So good field position for the Hoosiers. Thompson gets the handoff. There's a flag down. He'll pick up four. Let's see what the call is. Offsides against the offense. Oh, no, on the defense. I'm sorry. Purdue's on the... They're going to take the penalty. Brings up first and five. They're going to try. Schnell's going to have to try something here. He's looking for Turner again. Play action. He has to look around. Buford knocked down by Tim Seneff. Brings up second and five. Gonna give it to Anthony Thompson. Stuffed behind the line. Oh, they dropped him. For a yard loss. Knew the ball. They knew it was coming. And they drilled him. Makes it third and six. Back to pass is Schnell. He's looking. Fires to Tony Buford. Nice catch by Buford. 19 yard pickup. He stood in there and threw a bullet to Buford for the first down. Down to the Purdue 36. Here's a handoff. Anthony Thompson, he'll pick up a couple. Bring us up second and eight. Second and eight. They're going to give it back to him again. Hand off to Anthony Thompson. Thompson bounces outside. He's going to pick up five down to the Purdue 29. Third and three. Third and three. They're going to give it to Carl Miller on the inside handoff. Miller picks up three. First down. First down. Big run from Carl Miller. It's a first and ten from the 26 of Purdue. Handoff to Anthony Thompson. Thompson heads to the outside. Picks up four. Down to the 22. Second and six. Schnell looking for his tight end. Back throw pass. Oh, picked off by Mike Marks. Mike Marks picks off the pass intended for Carlos Marte. And that's the end of the third quarter. Indiana was threatening there. And a big interception. I believe that was Schnell's second pick. So 21 all, fourth quarter, Purdue ball at the their own 24. They're going to give it to Jimmy Smith on the handoff. He goes to the outside, 
picks up two and goes out of bounds at the 26. Second and eight. Ben McCall checks in. They're going to give it to him on the handoff. McCall picks up six yards. And it's going to be third and two at the 32-yard line. Hand off to John Macon. Macon gets three. First down, but there's a flag. Flagrant face mask. Defense. Oh, a horrible penny by, penalty by the Hoosiers. They get the... Uh, grabbing the face mask. 15-yard penalty. And that's going to push the ball all the way up to midfield. First and ten for Purdue. Here's the handoff to Ben McCall. McCall picks up four. Brings up a second and six. Second and six. Give it to John Macon. Bacon being keyed, he's going to be stuffed. Dan Bauer drills him. Third and eight. Third and eight. They bring out three wide receivers. And they're going to do a little flare pass out to McCall. But they're in bump and run. McCall makes the catch. But he's quickly tackled behind the line for a loss of one. So the Hoosiers had that one red. And it's fourth down from the 49. And in the punt comes Jim Bosch. Hoping they can get the ball inside the 20 here. The 10. Short punt's going to go out of bounds at the 20. Not a good punt. Indiana starts from the 20. Gonna give it to Anthony Thompson. Thompson forced outside. He's got running room. Oh, Thompson broke that one. Almost broke it loose. 12-yard gain. Out to the 32. Probably Anthony Thompson's best run of the day. They're gonna give it to him again. Thompson. He hits outside. He's going to gain 10 yards before he's dragged down. But there's a penalty on the Hoosiers. A legal use of the hand. That's going to bring up back that run. I don't know what the penalty situation is, but I think the Hoosiers have some really bad penalties today. And this is one of them. Now it's first and 20. First and 20. Back to pass. He's going to look for a screen to Anthony Thompson. Flag on the play. Another flag. False start. A false start. Offense. The Hoosiers are imploding here. Now it's first down and 25. He's going to look for Anthony Thompson again. Oh! Median to Carlos Mark and broken up by Bob Lashley as he had to go to a secondary receiver. Second and 25. Going to give it to Thompson on the draw play. Handoff. Hits the line. Oh, he coughs it up! This is not going to be good for the Hoosiers. Purdue recovers. Purdue has recovered the fumble. And they will take over at the Indiana 22. What a break! bad break for the Hoosiers. Jimmy Smith's back in. No, we're going to leave McCall in there. Macon.
Hand off to McCall. McCall gets to the outside. Picks up six. It's going to be in second and four. They're going to give it to Macon. He's in loose. He's going to score. A touchdown for the Boilermakers. 16 yard run from John Macon. And Purdue has grabbed the lead. This Purdue crowd is beside themselves. Down 21 to nothing. At one point, they've come back to score 28 unanswered and take the lead in this game. On this sloppy, rain soaked day. Here's the kickoff. Touchback. And Dan will take over at the 20. So Thompson. We get the handoff. We'll pick up three. Brings up second and seven. Schnell on the option. False start. Another false start call. Offense. It's going to be second and 12 now. And they're going to do the option again. Schnell fakes the pitch. He's going to take the room. He's going to win. Let's find some room. And they're going to pick up nine yards, third and three, as I stumble over my words. Third and three from the Indiana 27. Nice run by Schnell there. Third and three. And we're going to give it to Thompson as he heads to the outside. And held to a couple of yards. He's going to, he's getting hit, be hit. And Hobbles off the field as he's been getting beat up here today. It's fourth and one. 8.29 left in the game. You really can't go for it from here. Fourth and one. Why is it not? Oh, because he left. That's all right. Marjaco, Maja, Mosco, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Don Mateco, Mateco, I don't know. He'll come in, into putt comes Bolliard. He's going to try to boot it away. Flag on the play. Another flag. Delay of game, offense. The Hoosiers are just, they are just out of sorts right now as they're getting flagged left and right. A high end over end kick, fielded at the 34. He's going to return it eight yards up to the Purdue 42. A 42 yard kick from Bulliard. And now Purdue can really Put the icing on the cake of this game and they can just get a nice drive going here. Penn McCall will get the handoff. McCall heads out of bounds at the 48. Give him six on that play. Second and four. McCall checks back out and in comes Jimmy Smith. They give it to Jimmy Smith. Smith Loss of the yard. Brings up third and five. Back to pass. He's looking for Burrell. Herman tosses it. Deflected by Brad Money. We might have a press interference. Nope. Defense. Yep, illegal contact. 
And that's going to get Purdue the first down. First, first and ten for the Purdue Boilermakers. Give it to Jimmy Smith again. Smith, another big hit from Walt Harris. They drop him for a loss. Second and 11. The call checks back in. Hand off to John Macon. Macon picks up a couple. That's about all he's going to get. Third and nine now. Third and nine. Back to pass goes Herman. Herman. Knocked away by Mike Dumas. It was a nice throw by Herman, but Burrell could not get it. He's double covered, and Dumas knocked it away. Fourth down. And here comes the punting unit. Bosch not having a good day punting the football. In the air, Bosch lets it roll. In the end, it lets it roll, and it's going to go out of bounds at the 14. So a 33-yard punt, not a horrible punt. And Indiana will start at their own 14. Thompson back in the game. And he'll get the call here. Thompson stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. James Looney drills him for a loss of one. Brings up second and 11. Back to pass goes Schnell. He fires it to Thompson in the flat. Deflected away, almost picked off by Bob Lashley. Third and 10, or 11, third and 11. They're gonna have to bring Buford back in and that's where they're looking Tony Buford tipped away by Marks fourth down not a good series for Schnell there and with 451 left they're gonna have to punt it away here from the 13 yard line with this wet grass they're hoping for a turnover Five yard return by Scott Craig. Bullyard gets 44 yards on the punt. And they start from their own 48. Here's Ben McCall on the handoff. It's going to pick up two. Brings up second and eight. Right back to him. Handoff to McCall. McCall misses, gets some room into the secondary. Nice stop before he gets 17 yards and a first down. Huge run by Ben McCall. First and 10 from the 33. Handoff to John Macon. Macon. He's going to pick up five on the play. 3.28 left in the game. Purdue trying to put this one away. Hand off to Jimmy Smith. Smith, great blocking. He's down the sideline. And he'll be pushed out of bounds at the 11 yard, or uh, 28 yard line. Pick up 11, I should say. Jimmy Smith goes over 100 yards rushing on the day. They're going to go for the jugular here. Looking for Burrell for the back to pass. No. Nope. Herman fires. Caught by the four. Touchdown. Herman finds Bart Burrell for the score. 17 yard strike, but let's see what the call is. Holding. Offense. 
Oh, it's a holding call. That'll take points off the board. That'll be first and 20 now from the 27. Hand off to Ben McCall. He just breaks one. Not stop before he picks 18 yards up. Down at the 9 yard line. What a run. Timeout defense. And Indiana calls timeout. 2.48 left. Now it's second and two from the nine. Well, he joins. Jones comes in. He'll get the handoff. Lago Jones line. hits the line. Picks up three. It'll be a first down. Let's Lose see if the call is. And they're going to get a penalty on Purdue for illegal use of the hands. That's going to be a 10-yard penalty. It's 2nd and 12. Back to throw. He's looking for Burrell. Burrell's caught at the 6. First down. An 18-yard strike. That's got to be deflating. Down to the 1-yard line. And if they can punch it in here, this game's over, folks. Two tight ends. McCall. Wally Jones. I give it to McCall. Touchdown! Ben McCall sneaks in from a yard out. And Purdue has built a 34-21 lead. Extra point by Rick Anderson is up, and it's good. 35-21 <clears throat> with 2.09 left. A tail of two halves for sure. Here's the kickoff. Granderson takes it at the 10, breaks through, stopped at the 32, 22 yards on return. Receiving team. And they're going to get a holding call on the return. So, of course they do. That's where Indiana's luck has gone this game. At least in the second half. And they start from the... Their own 11 yard line. Back to pass. Schnell looking for Turner. And Andy Gladstone was all over him. Nice coverage from him. It's going to be second and 10. Looking for Tony Buford here. Back to pass, goes Schnell, he's rolling out, he's looking, he throws it to Buford. And knocked away by Mike Marks. Second, or it's third and ten now. Third and ten. Back to pass, here comes Purdue on the blitz. Schnell looking for Eddings. Has it! He's at the 30. All the way out to the 43-yard line. 32-yard gain. Nice throw by Dave Schnell. And it's first and ten for Indiana. Hmm. They're going to let the clock roll here. Still got a long way to go. He's looking for Rob Turner here. Back in the pocket. Pass broken up by Seneff. Brings up second and ten. He's back in the pocket. Schnell. He's hurried. He's looking, looking. Throws to Buford. Incomplete. 
So Schnell throws it away. It's third and ten. And here we go. Third down. Back to pass. Schnell looking. He's hurried. He flares it out to Thompson. Catches at the 45. And he's going to pick up 14 yards on the screen. Nice play for Schnell to find. They're going to have to call timeout here. Timeout offense. One more timeout left for the uh, Hoosiers here. He's looking for Turner again. Incomplete. She threw it into double coverage. Brings up second and ten. This time he's looking for Buford. Buford can't make the play. Robert Williams is all over him. They might be passing a finish. Defense. It is. Pass interference called on Robert Williams. And that's going to be a first down, first down. at the 29-yard line. 30 seconds left. They need a quick score here. Back to pass for Schnell. Schnell blows deep to turn it. Caught! Brought down at the five-yard line, Turner. They're going to have to call their last time out. Offense. Last time out, 35-21, Purdue leads it, but Indiana is on the five-yard line. For his tight end. Back to pass. Jordan. And an incomplete. The ball slipped out of his hands, it looked like. Second and goal. Back to pass. Back in the pocket. Short. Jordan. Broken up by Chris Scott. Third down. Seven seconds left. Back to pass. He's looking, looking. Throws. Bang away by Burkhead and the ball game's over. That's it. That play just took too much to, uh, too much to materialize there. And uh, Indiana cannot get on the bo uh, scoreboard there in the second half. So here's the final statistics. Purdue had 25 first downs to 17. Passing, Purdue had 191 to 187 for Indiana. Rushing, surprisingly, you thought it would be Indiana outrushing them. But with the wet field, Purdue's running game really did the trick. 250 yards on the ground. <coughs> Excuse me. 12 penalties on Indiana. They struggled there. Uh, three turnovers for each team. Uh, everything else in the most valuable player for today's game is Jimmy Smith from Purdue. He rushed for 106 yards and two touchdowns. Let's look at the box score. Schnell finished 10 of 27 for 187 yards. Most of that coming up here in the la last part of the game. Uh, Thompson struggled running the football. 27 carries, only 67 yards. Purdue pretty much had him shut down for most of the day. Uh, receiving, Rob Turner had three catches for 64. Buford had two for 45 and a touchdown. For the Purdue Boilermakers, Herman struggled in the first half, came alive in the second half, threw for a touchdown, 191 yards passing. Uh, his touchdown went to uh, Bart Burrell, who had five catches for 61. Jimmy Smith, the running game was the star of the show, though. Jimmy Smith had 106 yards on 14 carries, two touchdowns. Ben McCall had 77 yards on 11 carries for, and one touchdown. And John Macon had 11 carries for 51 yards and a touchdown. 
with the wet ground and the steady rain, it was the running game that came to the rescue for the Purdue Boilermakers. The story, though, is how the Indiana Hoosiers jumped out to a 21 to nothing lead before in uh, Purdue just came roaring back. They scored a touchdown before the first half to make it 21-7 and then scored 28 more points in the second half to pull away, win this one 35-21. So that's it from here. Hope everyone enjoyed the game. Thanks for watching. Next game up, let's take a look and see what the next game here is. We got, oh, we got a good one. Chuck Long and the 85 Iowa Hawkeyes going up against the 85 Wolverines and Jim Harbaugh, Jamie Morris and the gang. Um, I will not, uh, I am a Michigan fan, so I will probably let the computer coach Iowa, and I will just coach Michigan's offense. So that's up next. Thanks for watching as the Purdue Boilermakers beat the Indiana Hoosiers 35-21. See you next time.